Okay, let's see if this works a little bit better. Uh, I'm using my webcam, it's a little bit shaky, but I wanted to show you a device that I purchased for my radio. I got tired of swapping the USB cable between my laptop and my Raspberry Pi. So I looked around and I found this USB splitter and it's uh, made for printers but uh, it works and uh, it comes with two cables it was only about ten dollars it's got a switch A and B switch there and uh, now all I have to do is punch a switch uh, to switch between the Raspberry Pi and the laptop uh, so that's for the USB cable okay here we are uh, over at the Raspberry Pi and I have this running with VNC and uh, this is a, a remote server and the VNC client is running on my Windows 10 laptop so it's a little bit slower doing it this way uh, if I hooked up a monitor to the Pi and a keyboard and mouse it would be a little faster I used a wireless keyboard and mouse with it and it worked fine uh, it was great so uh, let me show you how I open up the CQR log. I've just been using the command uh, line here. And this is CQR log 2.0.4. And it takes a few seconds to open up, but not too bad. I have the uh, transceiver control uh, open, ICOM 7300, and I am at 10.138. But before I open up WSJTX, I have to disable it. I go to Radio 2 and I don't have anything set for it, so it's just null. WSJTX controls the uh, frequency in the rig, so I go over to File. And then down to remote mode for WSJTX. Click on it. And it takes, uh, you know, 20 seconds for this to load. But once it's loaded, it runs really good. I haven't had any problems with it. Alright, there we go. Wasn't too bad. 30 meters. Let me see if I can make a contact and I'll show you. Uh, it does log right into CQR log. And from CQR log, you know, supposedly you can upload to hrdlog.net. Or, uh, now there's another service, a couple other services that it uses. But I haven't been able to get that to work yet. It took me a while to get CQR log installed on the Pi. Uh, it wasn't a, a simple process. It's fun to experiment with though, and uh, it's running now. I'm going to play around with it some and uh, see how well it works. You know, it's something I may uh, I may eventually break down and get a Linux box and uh, put uh, one of the uh, uh, Linux distributions on it, uh, Mint or uh, whatever uh, is out there that's working good, and, and try uh, CQR log on it. Got some signals in here. Let's see if we get a CQ. Oh, there's one. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try this guy. Double click on it and see if I can get him. In 6 p.m., I believe I've contacted him before. I'm only putting out about 5 watts. It's running in split mode. And I don't have uh, the transmit receive lock uh, checked. And I found I don't really need it. I just have to be careful when I click on the waterfall. Uh, if I'm changing frequency, it will only, uh, only move the receiver and it won't move the transmit. And uh, to do them both together, I just hold down the control key.
Okay, let's see if he comes through. I'm going to select this. I've had a good time with the Raspberry Pi, uh, running FL Digi, uh, Ready Mode, and uh, then with WSJTX, Whisper, and uh, JT9, JT65, and now with CQR Log on there, and getting these things working together, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Hey, we got him. Well, you know, it just amazes me how uh, well this thing works. And, uh, you know, I posted on another forum. Uh, could the Raspberry Pi and the ICOM 7300 with this software be better than uh, the 7300 with the Windows 10 and the same software? You know, I get on here and... Uh, uh, I send it out of CQ and I get people calling me right back. Uh, I respond to somebody calling CQ and they come right back to me. I'm only using 5 watts. And uh, it seems like when I go over to my Windows computer and try the same thing, it's, uh, it's more difficult. Uh, and I can't think for any reason why uh, you know it would be any different. Uh, but you know it could be. Maybe it's just a coincidence and I'm just uh, imagining things, <laughs> but it is pretty fun uh, doing it on this little uh, little computer. I'm going to send him a uh, thank you 5 watt 73. Or how about this one QSL 5 watts South Dakota 73. I had to take time to count that one out and make sure uh, we're over 13 characters. Let's see where he is. It's coming through pretty good. Alright, got the signal report from him. And it's uh, asking me to confirm the QSO. Make sure everything's in there right. I got the 5 watts. And uh, when I click OK, it's going to go into CQR log. And I'm going to try to jump up there real quick so you can see it. Actually, uh, let me pull it up there. You can see it's grayed out in there. So it's ready to be logged. Change that power. So it's ready to be logged. All I have to do is hit OK. And there he is, KI5WA. Now if I had everything working, it would go to hrdlog.net, but I can't seem to get it to upload. I posted a, a message in the forum to see if somebody can help me. I haven't heard back from anybody. And when I try to upload, uh, it tells me I don't have an internet connection. And of course I've got an internet connection. Uh, let me show you what the QSO list looks like. This is kind of nice looking here. Uh, and this is the contact I just made. I can go back in and I can edit the uh, log uh, uh, records in here. And there's a lot of different uh, a lot of different things I can do. So it's a really nice looking uh, CQR log.
Oh, here's somebody, somebody calling me.